JP here. On behalf of Four C Scuba Centers, I want to welcome you to Cooking the Local Catch. We're here at Oceans 234 in Deerfield Beach, where the chefs are going to teach us how to take our catch from the ocean to the table. Hey, Chef Joe, what, what have you got for me today? Hey, Chiefy, how you doing? Good. Uh, today I got a nice yellowtail snapper. Oh. We're going to fry it whole, and then I'm going to top it with a nice uh, Thai uh, chili sauce. So t tell me the ingredients for the topping, and let's, let's, let's mix this up. Okay. Um, first, I'm going to start out with the fish sauce. This is a fish sauce? Yeah, it's a fermented fish sauce, uh, widely used in uh, Southeast Asia, Thailand, Vietnam. Um, all right. Very okay. salty. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Got a good base, in yeah. other words. Okay, Definitely. got it, got I'm it. I'm going to do that. And next, I'll put in the uh, lime juice. Oh, yeah, we got to have lime, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, garlic. Got to have garlic. Mm. Palm sugar. Palm sugar, okay. Who knew? I mean, what, you know, tell me about palm sugar. Uh, palm sugar. Um. <laughs> Is it from palms? Uh, yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that must be why they call it palm sugar. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to go with the Thai chilies. Oh, looky there. Looky there. And um, go ahead and whisk, whisk that, that up. up. All right, you do that part. Oh, you got to break down that sugar a little bit. Mm -hmm. huh? Okay. I like the colors. Yeah, and nice I think and it'll, vibrant. it'll add obviously some flavor to the fish, right? Yeah, a little bit of heat. A little heat. Ah, you guys are always stepping it up, aren't you? Hey, hey so Chef Joe, we got the yellowtail, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, tell me, how do you prepare the yellowtail to go in the deep fryer? Okay, yeah, first you want to take all the scales off. Um, okay. Cut the fins off the top here, and then um, take out the uh, the inside. And then uh, just give it a little score. And you did that on both sides? Yeah. So it's a pretty fish, mm -hmm. but a nice tasting fish, of course, you got, um, you know, because you're gonna fry it, it'll be kind of crunchy on the outside, but it'll keep that moisture of the fish inside. Oh, definitely. Oh, I love it. I'm looking forward to it. All right, let's go. All right. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chef Joe, we're gonna put that yellowtail snapper hole right in that deep fryer, but, you know, I don't have a deep fryer at my house. How would I, or how would somebody do that at their house? Well, um, if you don't have a deep fryer house, uh, Chiefy, you can get like a nice sized pot with some oil, uh, maybe a cast iron uh, pan. Okay, okay. And then you don't necessarily need to cover the fish completely, do you? Uh, not necessarily. Uh, right, right, you can kind of flip it if you need it to. Yeah, if you don't but have a big enough pot or right. that much oil, you can kind of cook it on each side in a nice cast iron. Okay, and that'd be, that'll give it a good flavor. All right, let's give it a shot here, though. How, you know, this is this is in the kitchen of Oceans 2, 3, 4. You might as well use what we've got, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, I'm just going to take her and drop her in. Um, you want to, you want your oil to be about 325 degrees. So it needs to be hot. Yeah. Um, nice and hot, not too hot. And you, you do this for about what? How long? Uh, about 8, 10, 12 minutes. Uh, depends. Um, uh, you basically just want to bring it up to internal temperature about 155, 160 degrees. What are you looking for as far as knowing when it's ready? Uh, when it starts to get nice and golden on the outside. Uh, okay, okay. You'll kind of pop it up every once in a while and go, oh, there it is, maybe a little bit longer. Yeah, maybe give it a little it's check. It's a visual thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it, got it. Hey, uh, Chef Joe, while this is, you know, frying up, what, what can we do next? While we're waiting for the fish to fry up, let's uh, go over and I'll uh, show you how to saute the spinach on the grill. All right, let's go. All right, uh, Chiefy, all I'm really doing is just simply sauteing the spinach in a perforated pan over the grill. Uh, just a little touch of um, sesame oil, and that's all, all we need on this. So you just, just put that around and just, and now it's all just curling down and, yeah. and okay, almost um, ready to eat, isn't it? Pretty much there. And uh, this kind of pan is pretty easy to get? Yeah, you can go to um, whatever local store, they have a perforated wok okay, pans made, got it. made for the grill. Got it. Or, hey, you know, you got a frying pan. Just yeah. put it in a frying pan and mm -hmm. it'll curl down eventually, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So do you think our fish is ready? Uh, it should be close. Let's go Let's check it. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, right. okay. Oh, man. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Yeah, it's beautiful. All right, great. All right, Chef Joe, we fried the yellowtail, uh, sauteed the spinach, got some white rice, and, of course, the topping. Let's put this thing all together. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is 
put the rice on the plate. Presentation is important here, isn't it? Oh yeah. Yeah, you want to make it looking good. Definitely. Okay. Next, we'll put the spinach on over here. All right. Next, we're gonna plate the fish. Whoa! Yeah. Look at that, huh? Yeah. So you're gonna add this as a the topping first, or or, or what? Um. So what I have here, I'm gonna put the mint, basil, and cilantro on last. Okay. Um, I have sesame seeds to put on the spinach. Okay. Um, a little bit of lime and whole chili for garnish. Let's do it. Go yeah. ahead. Let's go. There we go with that. Oh, yeah. oh look at that. Be shy. No, that look. That, I, I, I'm thinking we should have a side dish of that. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of nice fresh herbs. So you have mint, uh, cilantro, and uh, Thai basil. Oh, basil. Okay, Thai. Got it. And we're just gonna put another little touch of the sauce oh, over man. the herbs. Holy smoke, holies. Yeah, I don't think you can't do enough of that. I mean, I think I think that you know we gotta have a lot of that. You know. A little lime. Uh, this is just really just for presentation look. Yeah. Things. Very, very nice. Wow. All right. So now we're going to go out and we're going to eat this dish out in the dining room. Let's Why not, right? Oh, come on. Come on, let's, let's go. go. All right. Man, Chef Joe, <laughs> the presentation of this fish is phenomenal. I, I, I love fried yellowtail. I really do. And the way you've done it, um, and prepared it, it's excellent. I'm gonna dive into this yellowtail snapper, okay? This is a dish that we can share. That's what I like about it. You're kind of eating this off the bone, mm -hmm. right? And then, of course, the crunchiness. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's why I, I, I like to fry the fish whole. You um, get a nice golden brown, crunchy exterior. Well, you keep the inside nice and moist. I was gonna say, you, you got that outside is really, really crunchy, but on the inside, man, you didn't kill fish at all. It's great. Delicious, delicious fish. Mm. Nice dish. Thank you. Thank you, Chef Joe. As always, on behalf of Four C Scuba Centers, thanks for joining us here at Cooking the Local Catch. And don't forget to like and subscribe, because we will hook you up more great recipes.